everybody, welcome to DR Television with your hosts, the natural one, Carl B, and Mr. Amazing, Sam H. Yeah, so um, what we're we going to be doing today, sir? Well, today on the show we got a lot of good things coming. We're going to be playing one of the classics of the N64 era, the classic Zelda Ocarina of Time. That is amazing. That's a really good game. I'm really excited to play it. Um, I'm sure you guys are excited for us to play it. So, um, yeah, let's get this underway. Rocking on. Now, for those of you who don't know, Ocarina of Time is the pivotal game in the Zelda timeline. It came out in 1998. Classic year. And a lot of people don't know, but it is the game that is central to most of the games that came later. Wind Waker stems from Ocarina of Time. Twilight Princess stems from Ocarina of Time. Only three games come before it. And they are the Skyward Sword, the Minish Cap, and Four Swords. Now a lot of people waited a long time for Nintendo to release the official timeline. But this is really the game that started it all. Now for me, personally one of my favourites was Link to the Past before Ocarina of Time. What was one of your favourites? Well, one of my favourites when I used to play it as uh, a little kid. Uh, I used to play um, on the Game Boy Link's Awakening. That was one of my favourites. I, I play that all the time. So did my brother. We used to play it quite a lot. I loved that game. It was fantastic. But um, I've got to say, for N64, the best Zelda game has got to be um, the game we're playing today, Ocarina of Time. Nintendo have always strived to beat Ocarina of Time. They always want to make a game better than it. But to this day, a lot of people don't think that it's been beaten. Yeah. I mean, I've I've seen loads of reviews on like uh, Ocarina of Time. Everyone still say to this day that it's the number one game. The number one game is Ocarina of Time, out of the whole entire Zelda game. So um, yeah, today we'll be playing that. I hope you enjoy. And uh, yeah, let's get some away. Keep watching. Alright guys, we're going to um, play Ocarina of Time now, um, hope you enjoy it as much as we will. Um, any comments, um, please leave them in the comment section below and please keep on subscribing to our channel. <coughs> Let's yeah. get this started. Look at that, 2003, another classic year. Yeah. That was actually the year Wind Waker came out. Yeah. Another brilliant game. I remember getting Wind Waker for my birthday. Uh, <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, I got it for mine about <laughs> nine days after yours. Yeah, it was a brilliant game. That got so slandered though. Everyone was saying, oh no, it was because it's Cheryl Say, the sort of style game, and cartoon style game. It's, it wasn't, they would say, no, it's not, it wasn't good. But to, to me, I thought it was a brilliant game. Now, <clears throat> we're not going to be funny or smart and try calling it something else. He's always Link. I'm not going to call it like something like penis, <laughs> penis head or... <laughs> At most. Well, he, he's Link, so we're calling him Link. <clears throat> now, back in 98, when I was... Must have been about 11. My brother first bought the N64 for this game, specifically. And I couldn't tell you how happy I was that he had. I remember seeing the adverts for it on the TV. You see the bit where he pulls the Master Sword out, and that, which is a vintage bit. In any Zelda game, you have to have the bit where he pulls the Master Sword from somewhere. And when that bit <laughs> happened, I was just so excited. So we get to see that evil Ganon. <laughs> now, the design of Ganon took a very drastic approach in this game. For anybody who's played the first three, you'll know Ganon as a sort of fat pig wielding trident malarkey, oh, I don't know. It's hard to describe. It was just 
basically a big fat pig. A big fat <laughs> pig. <laughs> just basically, yeah. With a trine. With a trine. But yeah, they've, they've really changed him quite a lot in this one. Uh, in this game, he's starting looking like a human. Or more like a human. Isn't it like, towards the end that he turns to like this kind of big pig? Yes, right at the end of the game, he uses the Triforce of Power and turns into his classic incarnation. Although, quite a lot of the games, he turns into a big pig, really. Uh, yeah, that is true, actually. Yeah, so. Except for Wind Waker, where he became a weird puppet. puppet. Yeah. You had to cut his strings. But that was still awesome, though. Oh, it was a great was a game. Great Especially the sword battle in Wind Waker. Yeah, for anyone who said Wind Waker was kiddie, I defy you to go and look at the ending of that. Yeah, yeah. He stabbed straight in the forehead. Cause it, that wasn't kiddie ish. Well, <laughs> just put it that way. But I mean, um, yeah, it, it was it was a good. I love Wind Waker, and um, you know, um, whoever liked Wind Waker, you know, um, put your comments below. If you didn't like. Wind Waker, please um, tell us the reason why. Um, like I said, as always, leave a comment below. Hello! Hello! <laughs> uh, possibly the. Well, in Zelda games, not much English is actually heard. <laughs> Just. Ah! <laughs> and stuff like that. In fact, to this day, Link very rarely speaks. And if you want to know the reason why, Go and track down what, well, in fact, no, I'd rather you didn't track it down, but if you're curious to leak Link speaking, get the faces of evil. Oh, no, don't. If you viewers know anything about faces of evil, ah, oh, it's just terrible. I mean, oh, oh, my God. you know what? I know Link can't speak and he, he's wearing quite a funny tunic and stuff like that. But in Faces of Evil, they just pan him out as proper a proper gay, you know. I mean, he he, 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 he's, he's just, uh, he says, you know, like Batman and Robin classic, where yeah. he speaks, where uh, Robin goes, oh, oh, um, gee whiz, Batman, and stuff like that, and he, he just says all catchphrases like that, and it's just the most gayest thing ever. I mean, they really ruin like, oh. Uh, Honestly, if if you go on go go on go on YouTube, put on search bar YouTube, put Faces of Evil, uh, Legend of Zelda, and oh, uh, it, it's just prepare to be disappointed. Yeah, prepare to be disappointed. Um, not really much surprise that the Philips CDI yeah. really didn't take off after that. Exactly, but I mean it, it, it's kind of funny as well because on um, if you actually put Faces of Evil remix. People changes the wording. Um, it's rather funny. That is quite funny. A, a truly embarrassing game. Yeah, it's not even spoke of in the in the Zelda um, um, world. It's just I, cut out. <laughs> I remember back when I oh, was. It must have been when the Wind Waker came out. They did a Zelda timeline, and Nintendo wrote. <coughs> Under the CDR games, uh, I think the words were, it happened, let's get over it. Yeah, that's true, it did. And I mean, um, yeah, no, that's, that's not spoken of in the, in the, in the Zelda world. That's, that's kind of the same as uh, um, Mario Hotel. Oh my god. <laughs> Mario Hotel, which is also on the same console <laughs> of Faces of Evil. And that don't get spoken of either. That was just terrible. It was just basically a Mario game where Mario's got his own hotel and he's got to close all the windows. Yeah. In the hotel. With doors. And doors, and that's it. That's it. That's all it is. Um, yeah, and uh, you know Mario's portrayed as an Italian plumber. Um, uh, he don't sound like an Italian in that. <laughs> He just sounds like a typical American voice. Mm. Oh, like I said, once again, if you search it up on YouTube, oh, that's terrible. I'm Actually, in fact, I don't even, I, I don't, I, just don't search it up. There you go. Yeah, just forget about it. It's just cringe satire. It's just terrible. I wish I could forget about it. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, okay. 
I'm a bit rusty. Give me some credit. Oh, you found another classic bit of Zelda gaming. <laughs> that was more very bad, wasn't it? The Kokiri sword. Now, a lot of the first swords you get in Zelda games are quite pathetic. Not as pathetic as the Goron gives you that one. <laughs> the Goron sword. <coughs> yeah. Which breaks after, what, three hits? Three yeah. Hits? And not only that, it's like it takes him how long to make that song? I think you have to come back in three days or so. Yeah. That's real time, by the way. You have to wait for it to go night and day and night and day. day. About three times. Yeah. Um, it wasn't even worth it. I don't think anyone even used Big Orange Sword near the end of the game. No. A lot of people just stuck to the Megaton Hammer. play it and make those signs come back together. <laughs> Which is a tad random. It is very random. I mean, you cut the signs down and you can make them come back. Uh, I don't really remember how many rupees I need for... I think it's 80 in it. I might be wrong. I'm going to go with um, 40. Actually, it might be 40. The reason why I'm saying it's 80 because um, Spirit, not Spirit Tracks, it was in, um, what's the other one? Um, I think it, no it wasn't Spirit Tracks, it was the other one on the DS. Phantom Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, no, because you, you, when you um, get a shield on there, it's 80 rupee. <coughs> So that's the reason I'm thinking that, but you might be right, it might be 40 actually. Now, not a common thing, but Link has just basically gone into someone's house and robbed them. <laughs> Blind as day. Mm. They know, they know Link, they don't care. It's like, yes, I'm just going into your house. Wasn't that guy just over there trying to lift a rock? Now he's trying to lift a plant. <laughs> Nintendo were a little lazy. At the time, they've reused a lot of character models. Mm. Yay! Oh, a heart, even though you didn't really need it. <laughs> now, if it is 30 or 40, we've got it. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it is 40, actually. Well, let's I'm go find it. Leaky armor. Oh, we probably have enough now, anyway. I don't think I actually played it since um, Wind Waker Brain out. Is it they had the uh, special edition one? That is it. Ocarina of Time as well, I think. Yeah, to... Yeah, I think that's the last time I actually played it. So it has been a while since I played this. Just, you know, trust the guy that's bobbing his head up and down beyond the counter. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think they probably were a little curious that Link was growing a lot taller than all of them. No! He doesn't beat Beetle. <laughs> Anybody who's played Skyward Sword will know if you make Beetle angry, he'll just chuck you off the roof. He opens a trap door and pretty much says, right, you're out of here. Yeah, no good shopkeeper. You're not passing from here. Oh, uh, this guy is such a douchebag. Yeah. Good grief! Um, yeah. Um, let us know what's your um, favourite Zelda game um, by uh, <coughs> um, commenting on the comment section below. And please keep on subscribing just to. Reminder. Um, I'm just stick. about to go to the Great Dooku Tree. 
which is basically a tree with a moustache. <laughs> <coughs> and he's old. Oh my goodness. See? It might just tree be, with a moustache. It might just be because it's Nintendo, but... You see, you'd expect Mario to have a moustache, but a tree with a moustache? Yeah, but you... When it comes to Nintendo, it's like, I mean, come on. It's like, hills with eyes. Volcanoes with eyes. The Angry Mountain. <laughs> yeah, like a Mario Kart. All, all, all hills and that have eyes. And the clouds. Yeah. So. Yeah. Must <laughs> thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Now, I'm going to click no! no. <laughs> just, just to see what it does. Oh, and so basically what he's saying is, when you are ready, just come back. Okay, I'm not gonna move, and I'm back. I didn't oh, go anywhere. Oh, oh, screw him. You'd think if you just left him, would he just die of... He just going older and just with his way. Ugh. He's gonna make me go all the way back out, all the yeah, way back in. I don't think he likes you anymore. Well, you know what? Screw him, what does he do anyway? He just basically dies. That's it though. Useless character. You know, you, you complete it, and then he dies. He's like, what's the point? Can you not, like... No, you can't do that. Oh, there we go. I'm back. Yeah, I suppose. Open his mouth. And then as soon as you go in there, you just... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'd rather not listen to Navi. I mean, she, she's pretty terrible, but... Trust me, anyone who's played Skyward Sword will know... Oh, what's her name? Fee? She's a lot worse. You get things like, Master, I predict a 40% success rate in this current battle. And you're like, shut up, I can win. I can beat him, I don't need your assistance. Inside the tree. Now, that was basically part one. We're gonna leave it here, and next time we play this, we'll go through the dungeon. Yep, that's the end of part one, so uh, join us for next week for part two. Also, um, if you like our channel, please subscribe to it. Um, there's gonna be plenty more Zelda. Um, next week also, we're gonna rate the new Resident Evil movie, Resident Evil Retribution. Um, so uh, we will let you know what it's like uh, we're going to sit tomorrow, so that should be cool. Um, as always, comment on the section below. Uh, please send us uh, loads more uh, like funny stuff, or uh, what's your views on the uh, your favourite Zelda game. Let us know as soon as possible. Um, and that's it, really. Um, join us next week for part two of Zelda: or Korean of Time um, from our, um, your hosts. The natural one, Carl B, and Mr. Amazing, Sam H. And always, only the strong survives. And see you next week. See, you've forgotten your lines, ain't you? No, no. That, that's not part.